today on Sports World. It's a day of sparkling international competition. First, we return to the land of the rising sun for Japan Grand Tournament Sumo Wrestling from Tokyo. The revered sport where power and balance prevail and tradition and ceremony surround this most ancient of oriental sports. And then we continue our global tour as we travel to northern Italy for the World Cycling Championship. 1983 world champion Greg Lamont leads a world-class field of cyclists through a grueling road course requiring strength and endurance. Plus, Sports Journal looks at how athletes who may think they're in perfect shape could be dying of cardiovascular disease and how cocaine strikes the athlete's heart. That's all today on NBC Sports World. This NBC Sports World special is brought to you by Bud Light. Everything else is just a light. By the new Valvoline 4 Guard, the motor oil for today's harder working four cylinder engines. By Wagner. When it comes to painting, Wagner does a better job. And by Persona Razor Blades. time competitors fought to the death it is the ancient ritualistic sport of sumo good afternoon everyone i'm bill mcatee here in tokyo japan for the grand tournament of sumo and joining me for the telecast this afternoon only the second american to win an olympic gold medal in greco-roman wrestling americans shared his triumph in 1984 in los angeles jeff blatnick good to have you with us well thank you bill i'm happy to be here sumo a very interesting sport it often takes on mystical characteristics to those of us from the west and yet it has retained enormous popularity here in modern day japan well yes it has the last couple of years i trained extremely hard to win my gold medal. These wrestlers are recruited at a very young age and they train at their stables and they dedicate their lives to the sport. The big star in the sport of sumo right now is a man named Chiano Fuji. There are 15 bouts in a basho or tournament and Chiano Fuji already has a record of 12 and 0. Yes, but there's another wrestler named Dewana Hana who now sports a 10 and 2 record and he could be a spoiler with the right combinations of wins, wins and losses there could be a tie or possibly an upset. There's also an American here you kind of like. Yes, Konishki. He is very, very big and he's very very young and inexperienced and it'll be interesting to see how he finishes out here are the standings and you can see the dominance of the man we talked about a few moments ago the grand champion Chino Fuji at 12 and 0 Dewanahana at 10 and 2 and we're ready for our first bout of the day on the right the huge Hawaiian Konishki and that's his opponent Sakahoko these two have never fought the object quickly is to push your opponent out of the ring. Any part of the body that touches outside the circle ends the bout. Any part of the body other than the soles of the wrestler's feet that touches the clay inside the ring also ends the bout. They generally are very short. Kanishki started out slapping, but Sakahoko got inside, grabbed the belt, and as you saw, lifted and pushed Kanishki out of the ring. Kanishki is not having a particularly good tournament, and that was a good example of how size doesn't always mean advantage. As a smaller heavyweight, I understand that wrestling is leverage. Speed, strategy, and technique dictate who wins and loses. Our next competitors are ready. That is Hoshi at 7 and 5, and his opponent, Matawazumi, who comes in at 9 and 3. This is the warm up period. They have four minutes to stare each other down, psych each other out. They throw salt to cleanse the doyo of evil spirits and make it safe. Both hands must touch the clay before they're allowed to start. And here you can see Hoshi's trying to get inside. If he can hook up to the belt, he's going to try to lift his opponent. And there he has it. He's a little lower, so he's going to be lifting and driving, trying to get that foot out of the ring. And there you have it. 
Oshie wins, and that victory was important, although he won't win the tournament. There are 15 matches, and a majority of wins means the wrestler moves up in the rankings, and that was his eighth victory. All right, coming up now is a key match. It involves the only man who still has a chance to catch Chiano Fuji, a wrestler, Jeff, by the name of Dewanahana. That's right, Bill. Chiano Fuji, or Chio, has that 12-0 record. Dewanahana is 10-2, but he's coming up against a wrestler by the name of Kitao, who's having a very good tournament. He's 8-4, and, and it should be a good match. A quick note, the movements sometimes look arbitrary, but they're not. There are 70 different throws and holds. Here, Dewanahan is inside. He has Katow at the edge. You know, Katow counters, and he hits him with a hip throw. Katow wins it. And that's significant because it means that Dewanahan's record is 10 and 3. Shino Fuji, that man waiting in the wings, is 12 and 0. He is assured now of at least a tie. A win in his match coming up means the tournament. Either I'm Bob Eubanks. You know, once in a while, our couples may have a slight disagreement. It's true. Now that she has a big mouth. Well, hell, I knew that when I met you. <laughs> Roger. Mouth. Roger, I want you to sit up real straight. That's it. Now look at her right in the eye and say, Gerald, I'm the boss. <laughs> but when it comes right down to it, it all comes out for the best on the all-new Newlywed Game. Attention Nissan Datsun buyers. Stevens purchased the entire inventory of a Nissan Datsun dealership that was liquidated. Steven bought at bulk rate prices, tremendous savings they're passing on to you. From Centris to 300ZX, trucks too, 7.7 .7 financing. But there are just 73 of these specially priced cars and trucks. 73 smart buyers can own a Nissan Datsun at bulk sales savings of hundreds of dollars. Make sure you're one of them. Stevens wore the wheels, worth six Bristol. Do you like rock and roll? Yeah. <laughs> Red Wigglers, the Cadillac of Worms. Yes, it is radio. What a surprise for our listener. You have to draw the line somewhere. I am, too. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're not. Yes, I am. You're not. Sort of takes away my will to live. <laughs> have a reason to live. Catch WKRP weekdays at 5.30 on WVIT. Allow me to compliment you on your obvious sense of taste. <laughs> Tokyo. The view outside the brand new Kokugi Khan, and now inside as you look at the Yokozuna, Shino Fuji, the grand champion at 12 and 0, and that's his opponent, Koto Kazu, comes in at 7 and 5. And remember, Shino Fuji can win this tournament if he wins this match. You'll get a chance here to see Shino Fuji's combination of speed and power against the larger man. Shino Fuji immediately gets inside, grabs the belt, and drives Kodokazi out of the ring. There's your winner. You know, Jeff, he'd make a pretty good nose tackle in the NFL. He moves well. Yes, he's got explosive power off the start and good wrestling skills to maintain inside position. That means that Shino Fuji has wrapped up the tournament, but the next question is whether he'll be able to go undefeated in this boss show. A perfect record in the maiden tournament in his brand new Kokugi Khan would be a great honor. The opening ceremonies just completed. Great ritual and blessing the dojo. Some of it going back to the sports origin 2,500 years ago. It is a modern facility. It cost $40 million. It can be used for other events, but primarily it is the home for sumo. A seating capacity of 13,000. And we've got a full house today for this opening basho. Ready now for our next bout. That is Ozutsu. He weighs 320 pounds, and his opponent is Tagaru, a little guy at 304. They've met four times and split, two and two. These wrestlers, you know, have reached this level after years of apprenticeship in a sumo stable, serving the older wrestlers, dedicating their lives to this sport, all for this moment. Neither wrestler gained an advantage at the start. They're now locked on each other's belts. Tagaru's got Ozutsu back to the edge of the ring. He's almost got him. Oh, and Ozutsu fights off. They're both waiting to counter again. Tagaru's lifting, pushing, and he gets Ozutsu out of the ring. A 
And there you have it, the winner right there, Tagaru, who earned his money in that match. And by sumo standards, that was a marathon. Getting set, Kornishki, the huge American, 475 pounds. His opponent is Koboyama. I want to make a couple of quick points about Kornishki. He entered sumo only two and a half years ago, brought in by Jesse Takameyama, the great American hero here in Japan. But some feel that his rise has been too rapid to fully appreciate the spirit of sumo, and that has prompted some negative reaction. And Jeff, it didn't last long. Kanishki made fast work of that match, straightened his opponent up and pushed him right out of bounds using hand slaps. As we mentioned earlier, Kanishki is not having a particularly good tournament. His record now is five and nine, but he has done well recently and has moved up quickly in the standings. He's an accomplished musician and a very bright guy if you spend any time talking to him. And here you see off the start, Konishki with that head jarring contact straightens Kobayama up and then uses those hand slaps to drive him backwards and out of the ring. And there's no question that at nearly a quarter of a ton, Konishki is an intimidating sight. And coming up in our next bout, Asahi Fuji against Iwatahana. Iwatahana at 10 and 3 trying to lock in second place. Now during this bout, listen for the referee. He is not shouting warnings. He is shouting encouragement. Both wrestlers locked on each other's belt. Iwatahana has a little advantage. He drives him to the edge, but Asai Fuji fights back to the middle. Both wrestlers looking for that opportunity. of Greco-Roman wrestling right there. That was a real pretty hip throw, Bill. And Tewana Hana at 273 pounds, small by comparison, has the inside track on second place, waiting in the wings, and who has already locked up this tournament, Shino Fuji, now looking to go undefeated. Bud Light. If you just ask for a light beer, you never know what you'll get. Give me a light. Ah, uh, Bud Light. Hey, thanks. So if you want the less filling light beer with the first name and taste, don't just ask for a light beer. I can have a light. Bud Light. Bud Light. Because everything else is just a light. Tough guy personified. All pro defensive end, Howie Long. Hey, Howie, how do you get a smooth, clean, close shave that's not tough on your wallet? Get personified. Get persona. Find quality pivot, injector, double edge, twin blades, and disposable razors for a comfortable shave at a comfortable price. Get personified. Get persona. It's a jungle. That's how it feels when you're searching for life insurance. The natives don't speak your language. You feel lost, in the dark, scared. But there is a sign of civilization. With Prudential, your agent will explain things clearly and work with you until you have a piece of the rock you feel comfortable with. No wonder more people choose Prudential for life insurance than any other company. You'll feel right by the rock. Prudential Life Insurance. Frankie Warren, a good puncher. He is Texas' latest gift to the junior welterweight division. Buddy McGirt, a non-stop punching machine who never seems to tire. Warren battles McGirt, a showdown of unbeaten contenders. Live on NBC Sports World. Bill McAtee and Jeff Blatnick back at the Grand Tournament of Sumo in Tokyo, Japan. One of the true legends in this sport is ironically an American, Jesse Takameyama. Like Konishki, Hawaiian born, and when Takameyama fought, the Japanese loved to shout his name. Jesse became so popular here, he even made commercials. Jesse, now a Japanese citizen, retired 
after, after 20 years in the sport, the ceremony in which the sumo warrior loses his top dot of hair. And while Jesse felt the emotion of the moment, he reflected on his long career in a foreign land. 21 years of, as I said, hardship, 20, 21 years of fun, traveling together, being, being together, and winning my first championship, uh, the first foreigner to ever win a championship. Do you anticipate any other Americans following in your footsteps? Kids enter the world of Samoa, and only two of them succeed in going up in ranks in Samoa. One of them is me, and the other is uh, Konishki. We, we both succeeded. So for a foreigner to enter Samoa is very, the odds of succeeding is very difficult. Your vocal cords were injured during a sumo match. You once said that you'd like to get it repaired. Do you still feel that way? I've been to a lot of doctors, specialists, military specialists here in Japan, American military specialists, and from the Japanese specialists. And they told me the only way I can get my voice back is uh, through surgery. But since I made this voice famous, Oh, I think I should maybe should keep it. Jesse Takamayama, he'll be missed. And we're ready to resume now our next bout. Hoshi, eight and five in this basho. He is an up and coming young sumo fighter against Karinji on the left side, also eight and five. And these are two very popular wrestlers. Both wrestlers came out slapping, but Hoshi, in a smart maneuver, ducked down, grabbed the belt, and drove Karinji out of the ring. And unlike the type of wrestling Americans may be used to, this one doesn't require too much endurance. Short, powerful tactics are needed here. 